Right, thank you, Matt. With three UT students graduating tomorrow, already landing big time jobs with NASA. Yeah, this is a big deal. We told you right here at five this week that Justine Berry, Carol Misselum, and Megan Green will be working at the Johnson Space Flight Center in Houston. Well, new tonight, WAP6 on your side reporter Kayla Strayer caught up with the young women as they get ready to start various jobs involving the International Space Station. Three friends graduating from UT now heading down to Houston, landing big time jobs with NASA. I didn't really believe it. I was really excited. I think it won't really sink in until I actually get down there. The process wasn't easy. Engineering students Megan Green, Justine Berry, and Carol Misselum started with an interview on campus. A few months later, getting the call for another round of interviews in Houston before hearing the big news. It feels like your life is just going great and you are achieving so much. I mean, college wasn't easy. And now, but it has paid off. And I had to call all my friends. I had to call my parents. I had to call my fiance. I was like, I don't know how to handle this. And they were like, wow, we're so proud of you. You know, I can't believe this is happening. You're achieving your dream. And it's seeking in now. All three beating out hundreds of other applicants in a field typically dominated by men. I've been in several classes where I was the only female in the entire class. I think it's exciting. Um, I kind of want to be an example and let other women know that this is an option for them because I think a lot of them don't even consider it in the first place. I don't see myself as a woman in engineering. I see myself as just an engineer and I have the same equipment that guys do and we could do anything guys can and we have and we are so I'm proud of us. Reporting in Knoxville, Kayla Strayer, WHE 6 on your side. How about that? It's we amazing. are so proud of them mm -hmm. too. They start their jobs this summer, spending up to two years getting highly specialized training. I imagine we'll be doing stories on them again in the future. We will hear from them again. I yes. I think so.